Battle nitrates and phosphates by using algae to fight algae? Interested? Stay tuned. Hello, this is Jeremy from CoreView, welcoming you back to another episode of CVTV. Today we will cover how to install and use the ice cap turf scrubber. Until now, hobbyists looking to set up an algae scrubber would either build one themselves or invest into one of the many costly units currently available on the market. The problem with doing a do-it-yourself is that not everyone is capable of making one and the components may be unsafe when used in a wet and humid environment. Using a commercially available scrubber solves the safety issue, but the high cost of these units has made it prohibitive for some hobbyists to adapt until now. Ice cap algae turf scrubbers are made to be safe, easy to use, and most of all, affordable. Some companies will even try to upsell you on a light shield to prevent the scrubber's lights from escaping and shining into your sump or living space. Not ice cap, our scrubbers are fully enclosed. You don't have to remove a big light shield to harvest your algae either. When harvesting or cleaning, flip over the hinge door on top to access the algae screen. Ice cap algae turf scrubbers use algae as a natural water filter to remove nitrate, phosphates, and even pollutants from your aquarium water. An algae scrubber allows you to grow algae in a controlled environment where it can easily be removed thereby removing contaminants from your tank in the process. This all-natural form of water filtration can reduce and even eliminate the need for water changes. Best of all, algae scrubbers are safe for use in freshwater, saltwater, and reef aquarium systems. The ice cap turf scrubber come in three different sizes to fit most needs. The ice cap small 20 watt LG Turf Scrubber has a compact footprint of 8x7 inches and only 10 inches tall. It comes with two 10 watt LED lamps and handles aquariums up to 80 gallons. The small ATF requires 250 gallons of water flow. The Ice Cap Medium 60 watt LG Turf Scrubber has a footprint of 16 by 10 inches and only 12 inches tall. It comes with two 30 watt LED lamps and handles aquariums up to 225 gallons. The medium ATF requires 500 gallons of water flow. And the large ice cap 120 algae turf scrubber has a footprint of 24 by 12 inches and only 12 inches tall. It comes with four 60 watt LED lamps and handles aquariums up to 350 gallons. The large ATF requires 800 gallons of water flow. The ice cap algae scrubbers are designed to be mounted above your sump so that the water flowing through the unit can drain back into your regular filtration system. Water can be fed into the scrubber by a standalone pump or via manifold. The nutrient rich water going into the unit is trickled down on a screen that is illuminated on both sides by powerful full spectrum LED lights. As algae begins to grow on the screen, it scrubs your aquarium water of excess nutrients. As the algae covers the entire screen, you harvest it by removing a sizable portion, thereby removing the contaminants that fueled the growth from your system. To install your ice cap scrubber, you will need a feed or water source, a timer or controller, and plumbing to and from the scrubber. The ice cap turf scrubbers come fully assembled. Just clean off the packaging material and mount the LED lights to the base of the box with the included plastic thumb screws. Install the scrubber above or near your sump on a flat and secure surface. Since the scrubber drains via gravity, position it above the water level of your sump and bolt drains from the scrubber must only be plumbed downward into the sump. You will need PVC adapters based on your plumbing setup to run the water to and from the scrubber. For the outputs, you can attach a barb and use the flexible tubing. And for you plumbing experts, direct plumb it with PVC. The choice is yours. An emergency drain fitting prevents overflowing in case that the main drain ever gets clogged with algae. Be sure to fix all PVC fittings with PVC glue. Many hobbyists prefer to run their algae scrubbers on a reverse daylight schedule to help stabilize the pH of your aquarium water. 
You can accomplish this by plugging the LED lights into a timer or aquarium controller and programming it for a 12 hour daily photo period that runs opposite to the daylight schedule of your display tank. During the first week after installation, only use half of the lights to allow the screen to seed. To harvest a scrubber, flip the top door open and loosen the quick release union on the side. Lift the pipe and the algae screen out and then scrape off the algae using an old credit card, but do not remove it all. Leave some algae behind to seed the next batch so that it will grow faster. Under normal circumstances, you'll be harvesting algae every one to three weeks. Well, that is our video and thank you for watching CVTV. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at coralview.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or concerns you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.